One way analysis of variance is a parametric test that can be used if we wanted to compare means of three or more groups of normally distributed data. These are the steps in performing one-way ANOVA. First, you need to set the null and alternative hypothesis. Null is always all means are equal and then the alternative hypothesis, these two means are not equal. In ANOVA, it only tells us that the at least there are pair of means in which they are not equal but it will not tell us as to which of the pairs are not equal so if we wanted to know that one kung alin yung pair kung alin yung dalawang means na hindi nag kapareho or my difference is we are going to perform a post hoc we are going to use the F table for the critical value and then our decision criterion. We need to reject null if the computed F value is greater than or equal to the critical value, this one. We are going to obtain this value using the F table. Next, these are the formula that we need to use if we wanted to compute the F value. So, itong lahat, ito yung kailangan natin para ma-obtain itong F value. Saan natin gagamitin si F value? I-compare natin yan sa critical value para we can make our decision. Next, we need to summarize our computed values by following this ANOVA, ANOVA table format. Okay, so to illustrate and how are we going to compute those values let us use this problem Chloe is a city official she wants to know whether any difference exists in the number of traffic accidents in three cities the number of traffic accidents in typical day in the three cities is shown in the following table so there as you can see there are three columns in the table that is for city a city b and city c so the number here these are the number of traffic accidents in each cities so we are now going to start performing one way ANOVA our null hypothesis all means are equal, meaning the mean of city A, city B, and city C are equal. Alternative hypothesis, at least two means are not equal. It could be city A and city B are not equal, or city A and city C are not equal, or B and A, or B and C are not equal. Okay. We are required to use the 5% level of significance. Now, if it is not stated in the problem, it is understood that we are going to use 5% level of significance. Our decision criterion would be reject HO if your F computed is greater than or equal to this critical value. Your alpha is 0 0.05. And then, this P, ano ba yung P? that would tell us kung ilang groups yung kinocompare natin. So, there are three cities. So, that is why I have here three. Your N, that is for how many samples lahat. So, ang city A may seven, si city B meron ding seven, si city C meron ding seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, yan lahat ay 21. Okay, so paano ko na-obtain ang 3.56? Titingnan ko ngayon si F table using this information. Yung 0 0.05 na level of significance, degrees of freedom. So kung yan ay 3 minus 1, so we have 2 and then 21 minus 3 is 18. So yun yung titingnan natin sa F table. Okay, so be sure yan ay for 5% level of significance. Then you have here 2. Hanapin uh, natin ngayon si 18. Intersection ni 2 at ni 18. Yan ba? Okay. So that is 3.56. Compare natin doon. Okay, so 3.56. 
in case makalimutan nyo kung paano siya kukuha yung value dito, meron namang guide. O an example, meron oh So, 2 and 24 daw yung degrees of freedom. So, si 2, itapat mo yan kay 24. Uh, 3.40. Yan man yung andito din sa example. So, hindi kayo mag-alala, meron namang guide na nakalagay dito sa table. Okay, going back to our problem, meron na tayong critical value which is 3.56. We are now going to compute the values. First thing to do is you get the sum. Unang-una, yung first group. Isasam mo lahat yung mga data niya. So, kung i-add mo yan lahat, please check that is 105. CTB got 68 na total. CTC merong 54 na total. Next ay, square mo lahat. Each value ay square mo. Tulad nito, the CTA square. 20 times 20, 400. 12 times 12, 144. 11 times 11, that is 1 to 1. And so on. Dito naman sa CTB, ganun din yung gagawin mo. 18 times 18, that is 324. And then ito, 100 times 1. 10 times 10, that is 100. So, i-check nyo lang ito. Ang tama ba yung mga values na yan? CTC, meron tayong 9 dito. So, 9 times 9, that is 81. After that one, you get the total. So, meron akong 1,671. Then, here, add ko lang din yan. Para hindi na tayo mahirapan sa pag-compute sa mga values na required. Okay? Start tayo kay TSS. Ito yung formula ni TSS. So, para maintindihan nyo paano ba yan kukunin. Itong notation na ito simply means that yung lahat ng total ng mga na square mo ay i-add mo lang. So, tingnan mo oh, summation of A square. Ito, i-add mo kay summation of B square. And then, is-add mo yung summation ni C square. Next, minus mo yan sa eto summation of x sub i so eto lang yon 105 to so summation of a daw plus summation of b plus summation of c kung maad mo yan square mo yung total nila our n ilan ba lahat they are uh, 20 naman ito 21 okay 21 yan so check natin okay so eto na nilagay ko na yung mga values so, 1,671 plus 794 plus 568. Ano ba yung sagot? That is 3,033. Ito naman, 105 plus 68 plus 54. Yan ay 227. G-square ko and then I divide by 21. Yan na yun. So, please check kung makuha niyo ba yung value. So, for TSS, 579.23. Okay, if hindi nyo makuha, please play again the video so that maintindihan nyo kung paano na obtain ang value na ito. Next, we have SSB. Para maintindihan kung ano yung formula na yan, titingnan natin kung saan ba kukunin ang summation of the summation of x sub ai square. Okay. So, ito ang bawat total ng, ng three cities ay g-square ko pa. Diba? Ito, tingnan mo. Summation of x sub i. Ang ibig sabihin yan ay ito. Ito. Tapos, square daw natin. Over number of rows. Ilan ba yung rows? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, that is why I have here 7. Next is ito, summation of x sub i square. So, ito, i-add mo yan, yung total ay square mo, then divided by n, which is 21. Okay? So, please check in your calculator, 105 square plus 68 square plus 54 square. Dapat, yung makuha nyo yung nasagot ay 18,565. Minus, i-add mo yan, 
yung total times by itself divided by 21. Your answer should be 198. Take note, kapag nag-compute tayo, huwag munang mag-round off. Kung ano yung nag-display sa calculator nyo, yun yung gagamitin nyo lahat ng mga values. Kasi, sa final na answer, mag-vary yan kapag lagi kayong nag-round off. We need to be exact. SSW is obtained by PSS minus SSB. Itong dalawa ay na-obtain na natin yan kanina. So, just plug it in here. 579 minus 198. SSW is 380. MSB. SSB divided by degrees of freedom of B. So, ano ba yan? Degrees of freedom of B. K minus 1. Si K minus 1, ito lang naman yung number of groups. Yan yun si K. Or number of columns. Sa data mo, ilang columns ba meron? 1, 2, and 3. Kaya yan ay 3 minus 1. And then, the degrees of freedom is 2. So, yung value ni SSB na nakompute natin kanina, which is 1.198 divided by 2, ito na yun, 99. Next, MSW, SSW divided by DF of W. Si SSW ay nakompute na kanina, 380. Now, paano ko na-obtain itong 18? Degrees of freedom within variables, yan yung W within variables is N minus K. So, si N, yan yung number of samples, which is 21. K is number of columns, so 21 minus 3, I have 18. So, our MSW is 21. Now, we can now compute for the F. That is given by MSB divided by MSW. So, I divide mo yung dalawa, the answer is 4.68. Okay? Next, we can now summarize our computed values following this format. So, ilagay mo lang yan yung mga values. SSB, hanapin mo doon sa nakompute natin kanina. Dapat ay kung i-add mo si 19, itong SSB and SSW dapat equivalent yan ni TSS na nakompute natin kanina. Si DFB and si DFW Kung i-add yan, dapat ay yan yung result ng n minus 1 natin. So, 20. Si mean square, okay, itong critical value na obtain yan kanina sa table. So, we can now make our decision by using this decision criterion. I-compare natin si F computed ni critical value. So, what should be our decision since 4.69 is greater than 3.56 we are going to reject HO so there is an evidence to conclude that at least two means are not equal or simply we can state that there is significant difference that exists in the number of traffic accidents in the three cities so it could be merong Merong city siya na higher or lower compared doon sa iba na mga cities. So, that's all. Thank you for watching. And again, if hindi naintindihan, you can always play it again para masundan nyo kung paano yun sinag. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.